How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're having a battle versus Captain Falcon from the Discord server in the underused tier. And I say battle, but it's actually two battles. There's going to be two battles in this video just like yesterday, so make sure you stick around for the second bonus battle after this one. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Falcon. So they're going to lead off with Jolteon. Which is not what I expected. I expected the Ninetales or the Gengar because as we saw in the last game, Gengar with Toxic Spikes is a thing. Um, so that's why I kind of thought they would lead with. So they are Heavy Duty Boots on the Jolteon. So if we want to, we can go straight for an Eruption here. They probably go Iron Thorns, um, but Hisuian Typhlosion goes really hard against their team, I'm not going to lie. So let's go for an Eruption real quick and just get some serious damage off straight away on the Jolteon. So we go straight for the Eruption. They weren't expecting the Choice Scarf, Slash didn't want to switch anything in. And Jolteon immediately... Gets annihilated by the eruption, which is absolutely amazing. Go on, Typhlosion. I know Cobra's happy about that one. <laughs> In comes Gengar. So this thing could be Scarfed itself, which means it does outspeed us because Typhlosion Hisui is a bit slower than regular Typhlosion. So we're going to have to switch out. I'm leaning towards the Chestnut because if Shadow Balls come in, we're immune to that. So let's go for the Chestnut switch. So we withdraw our Hisui and Typhlosion and we're going to go into Chestnut real quick who can definitely take a Shadow Ball and a Sludge Bomb no problem because of the Bulletproof ability. But if they go for a Dazzling Gleam predicting the switch, which they haven't, they've gone for a T-Bolt. Um, we're going to eat that up like it's nothing really. Um, so I'm assuming they are Scarf by the way they brought it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight for a knockoff here. We can knock off something's item. They go for a Dazzling Gleam. That's going to sting. Not enough to get the KO on the Chestnut as we go for a knockoff, which should nearly KO the Gengar. But it turns out their Focus Sash as well with Dazzling Gleam, Thunderbolt, probably Shadow Ball and Sludge Bomb. So uh, what do we do here? I'm leaning towards the Gudra. So I am going to go Gudra. Uh, Gudra can pretty much take any hit from this Gengar, no problem, especially considering it's not a boosting item like Life or War Choice Specs. So we'll withdraw our Juggernaut and we'll save it for a little bit later. Um, it could still be useful to, uh, as fodder or spiky shielding on the likes of the Iron Head from the Excadrill. So they go for a Dazzling Gleam. We are going to eat that out because we're an Assault Vest Gudra. We can eat that out for days. And uh, all we need to do really is looking at their team, if we assume they're going to switch out, I think we go for a Ice Beam here. I, I go for an ice beam. They go for the destiny bond. No, I always fall for the destiny bond. I'm such a klutz. Every This poor Gudra. I think this is the second time this Gudra has gone down to a destiny bond Pokemon. And I think it was Gengar last time as well, actually, now that I think about it. So Gengar goes down, but it does take Gudra with it. So Gudra can no longer be used for the likes of the Sceptile or the Jolteon, which is really unfortunate. And the Ninetales, to be fair, to an extent. So um, looking at their team, I would say our best bet is probably going to be... Typhlosion, because it does really well against their entire team. I need to mark off Jolteon as well on my little list. So they do go Ninetales, which is great for us. So Ninetales comes in, gets the snow up, obviously. Not yet, though. We go into Cobra for real, the Typhlosion. We're going to frisk the Light Clay, which is good to know. I mean, it was pretty obvious there would be that. And there's a snow warning. So now, all we have to do is fire off an Eruption, and that should KO the Ninetales. They pretty much have to go into the Iron Fawns here. So we they, they, they let the Ninetales go down. They haven't really... <laughs> They are, his Hisuian Typhlosion is just doing really good work against this team. Um, there isn't much they can do against the Hisuian Typhlosion. They need a free switch in with the, um, with the Iron Fawns. They obviously know a Scarf because we outsped the Jolteon, so they know they can set up a uh, Dragon Dance right now with Iron Fawns. So Iron Fawns comes in. They are probably going to set up a Dragon Dance here, which means I have to switch out. Um, I'm leaning towards the uh, Chestnut or the Grand Bull. I think I'll go with the Gramble play just so we can get the Intimidate off. I think that's going to be really useful. So there we go. Into the Gramble we go. Good old Bully. I called my Tarakion Bully as well, I realize, but it doesn't matter. So anyway, Intimidate comes through on the Iron Fawns. They go for the Dragon Ants. They are back to neutral attack, but they are fast AF right now. They aren't as fast as my Hisui and Typhlosion, though, if we Terra Grass, which is good to note. Um, so now we pretty much force a Terra because they have to switch. They have to Terra, otherwise they get hit by a close combat or an Earthquake. So I think we go for a play rough. I'm going to go for the play rough because I know I can take a hit from this thing, no problem. If they are loaded dice rock blast, we might not live a rock blast, but I think we probably do because we are quite bulky. So they are going to terrestrialize as they expected and they're usually terror flying. So I think we went for the right thing by going for a play rough here. So they're going to terror into a electric type. So we could have gone for the EQ. But Terra Flying is pretty common on these things, so I was kind of expecting that. But I guess Terra Electric works as well, as they go for another Dragon Dance, which is obviously going to make them a very big threat right now. 
They outspeed everything on my team, but as long as we can do enough damage to where we can... There we go. Play Rough comes through. Choice Banded. Ooh. Not quite enough damage that I would have liked, so... Gramble, you're kind of underwhelming in that regard. Let's go for a Play Rough again. They go for a Supercell Slam. They do connect, and that's going to definitely take out Gramble at plus one. Definitely takes out Gramble at plus one. And with Terror and everything, no chance. Gramble goes down. Uh, Iron Fawns is a problematic Pokemon, that's for sure. So what do we do here? I am leaning towards the Chestnut into the Spiky Shield. I am also leaning towards the Aqua Jet from the Crawdaunt. I think that's the way to go. So I'm going to go Chestnut. I'm going to go into Chestnut. I think Chestnut can probably do something here. So we'll go Chestnut real quick and we will go for a Spiky Shield. Um, just to see if we can block something. A Supercell Slam or something like that. Hopefully they don't Dragon Dance again because that would be just awful. They go for a Pin Missile. So Pin Missile, they've got ranged attack, which is unfortunate. So that is going to not get Spiky Shielded or anything like that. We do wear off the snow, but that doesn't really matter. Um, so now if they're going to go for that, I just go for a Drain Punch and just let my thing go down. So they go for a Pin Missile and they miss. So Chestnut is going to swiftly avoid that, but we don't quite get the KO with the Drain Punch. We are able to get some health back though, which is nice. Um, that's very nice. So we'll go for another Drain Punch. Um, they go for another Pin Missile. That is going to hit this time. And if it's loaded dice like I suspect it is, I should have gone for a knockoff really. If it's loaded dice like I suspect it is, that's going to take us out. No problem. It actually takes us out three hits. So that's no problem there for the Iron Fawns. But now the Iron Fawns is in a bit of a predicament because now we have good old Crawdont in the back here. Dench Craw. Who can use Aqua Jet. So we have got priority here, which is great. So Crawdon comes in. And to be fair, Aqua Jet might have KO'd anyway without the Drain Punch. But I didn't I did want to risk it. So I'm going to go for the Aqua Jet. Like, w w worst comes to worst, I would have, like, terrored, terror watered my Crawdon there. Just to make sure the Aqua Jet KO'd if we didn't get the Drain Punch off. So it's not really that big of a deal that we missed the first Pin Missile. Um, but the Iron Fawns goes down to the Aqua Jet, which is amazing. Um, and now Sceptile and Excadrill are in a very tough spot because they can't really do anything to, like, like Crawdon takes a hit from this thing no problem so we go for a knockoff no debt like you know there's no reason not to go for a knockoff they are probably white herb leaf storm which means that they are going to get an inverted boost and they are going to outspeed my Hisui and Typhlosion but I think Hisui and Typhlosion can still finish this game off they actually go for a swords dance in the face of my Crawdon expecting a switch maybe we go for the knockoff though and that is going to cleanly KO the Sceptile. So Sceptile goes down. Crawdon comes through. Saving the day. And they actually had a red card, which is really interesting. So I wonder what they were trying to do there. So Excadrill comes in. Now, unless this thing is Scarfed, it could be because it's Mold Breaker. We should be all right. Um, they are Air Bloom, though. That's, that's good to know. So we have got a Focus Sash intact still. So we can go for a Liquidation here. They go for an EQ. That's obviously going to take us down to a Sash, probably. Uh, it doesn't even do that. We go for a Liquidation. And that's going to be the end of the extra drill. And that's going to be the end of the game. So GG, Captain Falcon. That was a fun one. There was a little bit of hacks, but, you know, it is what it is. It's the game we play at the end of the day. St I can't decide whether I want Crawdon. I think Crawdon deserves a spot because it kind of pulled the game back. Like, Typhlosion on paper did a lot to that team. But Crawdon? Amazing. Amazing stuff. So GG, get Captain Falcon. On to the next game. And the second battle of today is against Lemon from the Discord server in the underused tier again, using the same team as the first battle. This is a bonus battle after all, so we're going to use the same team, of course. So looking at their team, they have a very powerful threatening team. Um, it looks like Typhlosion could put some work in here if we get rid of the Caldeo and the Haxorus. Eruptions and Shadow Balls galore. But um, until that happens, and luckily there's no Destiny Bond Mons, which is great. So <laughs> um, we could lead off with Crawl on right off the bat and just go for a Liquidation or a Knockoff. But then the Keldeo just kind of walls us. So I'm tempted to lead off with the Fredris to get the Stealth Rocks up right away because they don't seem to have a Hazard Clearer. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for the Fredris lead and we'll just go from there. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Lemon. So the Lemon's going to lead off with Tinkton as we led off with our Ferretris. So we can go straight for a Stealth Rocks here. They probably do the exact same thing, to be honest with you. So um, they're going to break the mold. Now, if I go for a Stealth Rocks and they go for a Stealth Rocks, they're going to go for an Encore afterwards, right? So we go for a Stealth Rock real quick. And they go for their own, which is great. They're going to want to stop us from Rapid Spinning. So they're either going to switch into Skeledurge or they're going to go for an Encore. So we go for the Stealth Rocks. And it looks like they, it really looks like they haven't got any Hazard Clearer. So Stealth Rocks are here to stay on our, their side. And we can still do some stuff later. So what we'll do now is expecting either a Skeledurge or an Encore. We should go into Gudra. 
No, because if they go for play rough, that's going to sting. Um, we're going to go Gramble. Gramble can Earthquake the Skeledurge, which would be cool. Let's go to Gramble. Because I'm expecting an Encore more than anything, to be honest with you. So, uh, we do switch out. They don't switch out themselves, otherwise they would have gone first. Um, because Tinkstan is no doubt faster than the Ferretris. So, um, Point Stones are going to dig into Gramble, which is unfortunate. We do get the Intimidate off, which is great. So, if they go for a Gigaton Hammer, it's not going to do out. But they do, in fact, go for an Encore, which is going to fail. So, there we go. Um, now, we can go for an Earthquake. Um, they may expect a Fire Punch and go into Skeledurge. They may also just stay in. They may just stay in. Let's go for an Earthquake real quick. Because they might just stay in and Gigaton Hammer expecting it to KO the Gramble. But I have a feeling we'd live that. So they withdraw the Tinkaton. What are they going to go into to take an Earthquake though? Uh, Zapdos. So they knew they were expecting the Earthquake. They went into the Zapdos. Which makes a lot of sense. We go for the EQ. That's obviously not going to do anything to said Zapdos. Um, but we have got a switch in here. We've got the Gudra. So I'm going to go Gudra real quick. Gudra can definitely take on... Gudra takes on the Skeledurge. It takes on the Meloite pretty nicely. Takes on the Zapdos perfectly. Um, the Keldeo maybe not with the Secret Sword. Because Secret Sword's a special attack that hits on the physical side. And Haxorus and Tinkaton just take care of G Gudra no problem. So they're going to withdraw the Gramble. I'm going to withdraw the Gramble. And uh, we're going to go into good old-fashioned Gloopy the Gudra. There we go. Gudra comes in. Get some stones damage, which is unfortunate. We will get rid of them at some point. They go for the Volt Switch, though, on the Switch, which is really unfortunate. I should have seen that coming, but at the same time, how was I meant to see that coming? Um, I suppose I could have gone for an EQ expecting that, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't matter at this point. So in comes Tinkaton, which is a really good one. If they've got Play Rough especially, that's going to really sting us. We do get some Stealth Rock Chip, which is great, and they do break the mold, which is unfortunate. Um, do I... St <laughs> this is going to be weird. Do I stay in Terra Poison here? And then get a Fire Blast off? Or do I switch out? I'm leaning towards the switch. If I can get Typhlosion in for an Eruption, that'd be amazing. I suppose we could go for Etrus. It depends what they're going to do, really. Um, I think they Gigaton Hammer. I don't think they have Play Rough. I think they have Knock Off, if anything. So I'm going to go for a Fire Blast. Screw it. And um, they do go for a Knock Off. Yeah, because you normally have the Gigaton Hammer and the Knock Off. So we get the GUI, which is great. We're going to lower their speed. And they knock off our Assault Vest, which is unfortunate. We go for a Fire Blast, though. That's going to definitely sting the Tinkaton just a bit. As it does just about half, which is amazing. We don't get the burn, which is unfortunate. But, you know, we can't expect the burn. Um, and they're going to get their leftovers recovery. So we that Tinkaton is definitely specially defensive. We know that for a fact. They probably go for a Gigaton Hammer now. So I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and switch out. Um, I'm leaning towards the Chestnut. Leaning towards the Chestnut. Um, I'm also leaning towards the uh, Gramble. I think Chestnut is the better option because he can definitely take a Gigaton Hammer, no problem. We withdraw our Gudra, like so. And we're going to go into good old-fashioned Chestnut over here. Ju Juggernaut comes in. We can take a hit from the Haxorus. We need to keep this Chestnut around. It's our only switch into Haxorus, really. So um, they go for a Gigaton Hammer, which is definitely going to do a little bit of chip damage. Not too much, though. Um, as we do get the Rocky Helmet chip, I believe. No, Gigaton Hammer is not a contact move, which makes sense because it's using a hammer. <laughs> So uh, let's go for a knockoff first and foremost, just to, you know, get rid of the item on something. So they withdraw the Tinkaton, which is great. Um, but we go for a knockoff on something. They go into Zapdos, which is also great. So Zapdos comes in. We get the clean knockoff off on that, knocking off a potential heavy duty boots. Um, they do get static. Oh, I think it is definitely heavy duty boots. So we get the static, which is unfortunate. We knock off the heavy duty boots. And now we can freely go for whatever we want. So I'm leaning towards. The Gudra switch. They probably go for a Volt switch, though. That's the problem. I think I will go Gudra anyway, just because why not? So we withdraw our Chestnut. They're probably going to go for a Volt switch, but I'm hoping for the Hurricane or a Heat Wave right now. So we'll go Gloopy, and hopefully they go for a Heat Wave, because then we can drop a Draco on something, which would be amazing. They go for a Heat Wave, which is great. We're going to eat that like it's nothing. And then what we can do is we can drop a Draco, or we can go for a Fire Blast, expecting the Tinkaton to come in. I'm leaning towards the Fire Blast. I'm going to go for the Fire Blast. Screw it. Um, they do go for the Volt Switch. And there we go. Um, are they going to go the Tinkaton, though? That would be great if they did. Because it means we get a clean Fire Blast off on the Tinkaton. Which would be amazing. Definitely amazing. Tinkaton comes in, which is amazing. So we're going to get a clean Fire Blast off on that thing. Potentially getting a burn. I think Fire Blast has like a 30% chance of burning, which is cool. We go for the Fire Blast. We don't miss. There we go. And we nearly take them out, which is amazing. We don't get the burn, which is great. Uh, the less hacks, the better, I say. Um, but what we can do here is um, we could just let good old Gudra go down here. Um, I think I will go for a Fire Blast because they may over predict. 
So they go for the Gigaton Hammer, which is fine. And um, we can just now cleanly go into anything we want because basically, right, this Tinkerton took, took us out with Gigaton Hammer. It can't use Gigaton Hammer again the next turn, which means we get a free switch in without having to worry about Gigaton Hammer right now. Um, I'm leaning towards the Gramble for the Play Rough. I am leaning towards the Gramble for the Play Rough. Or a Fire Punch, either or. Um, or I'm also leaning towards the Typhlosion, but I want to lose those Stealth Rocks first before I go into that because that Eruption needs to be a full power for it to be effective. Um, so we probably go Gramble. Yeah, we go Gramble. We lower their attack and they can't go for Gigaton Hammer. So we can like kind of force a switch here, which is going to be great for us. So we get that Intimidate off, which is always nice. And then we can go for a Fire Punch, and that'll still hurt the um, Zapdos. Or we can go for a Play Rough. I, I think they definitely go into Zapdos here, or something like Skeledurge, maybe. If they think we're going to go for an Earthquake... I say we go for a Fire Punch, because I feel like they don't stay in. They, they do stay in. They do stay in. So we knock off... They knock off our Choice Band, which is unfortunate. But we can switch up moves now, which is kind of cool. Fire Punch comes through and takes out Tinkerton. Gramble coming through with a KO, which is amazing. Against a Tinkerton! The thing that has a base 160 power steel type move, Gramble's just like, yeah, I don't care. In comes the Skeledurge, which is a very good switch because it can burn us. It can do all sorts of stuff to us, really. Um, I am probably better off switching out into something like the Taclosion, but I'm leaning towards just staying in and go for an EQ. We could Terrify to avoid the burn. I think I'm just going to go for the EQ, though, because they might expect the, um, they, they might go for a Shadow Ball or a Hex, expecting the Typhlosion to come in. I don't think they think we're going to stay in with Gramble, though. So they go for a Hex, expecting the Typhlosion to come in, which is great, I, just as I planned. We go for the EQ, and that is obviously going to do a decent chunk of damage to the Skeledurge. So now they've got a couple of options. They can either switch out or not. One of the two. Um, I think they go for a Will-O-Wisp here. I want to go Typhlosion, but I don't want to get that Stealth Rock damage. I just haven't had an opportunity to get rid of the... You know what? I'm just going to go for an EQ again. I'm just going to go for the EQ again. They do go for the Willow, which is obviously going to lower our power a little bit. But we know for a fact that the next turn they're going to go for a Slack Off. Because this EQ, unless we get a crit, which I don't hope... I hope we don't get a crit. But um, it has happened before. There we go, the crit. So they have to go for a Slack Off here. Pretty much. Um, so we get hurt by the burn. We... Ha or do they go for a Hex? I say we go for another EQ because they're going to go for a Slack Off. I think we let them take Gramble down. Um, because I don't have the best switching in the world here. So um, I say we let Gramble go down. We get as much damage off on the Skeledurge as possible. Now the next turn they're probably going to go for a Hex. Um, which would make sense. So we go for another EQ. They probably take us out a Hex here which is great. Um, and then being that lower HP is going to be fantastic for us. So they go for another Slack Off which is fine. They can keep going for Slack Off if they really want to. Um, I think they will go for a Hex the next turn though. So we get the Earthquake off which is great. Nice bit of chip damage off on the Skeledurge. And now the next turn they should probably finish us off with a Hex, right? Otherwise they're just going to be stalling us out, which is no fun really. <laughs> they withdraw the Skeledurge. Interesting. So what are they going to go into? They're going to go into the Zapdos. Zapdos is a good one. So Zapdos can come in and get some Stealth Rock chip, which is great. And then we can go for a Play Rough the next turn. So we go for the EQ. It's obviously going to fail. Now they have to either KO us. Or they go for a Roost. I think they're going to use this as an opportunity to get the Roost off, which is fair enough if they do. Um, I'm going to go for a Play Rough. I'm just going to go for a Play Rough. They go for a Volt Switch, which is going to take us out. But Gramble, Gramble did good here because it kind of shifted the tide a bit. Um, I'm hoping we can pull this back, but I'm not 100% confident because this team that we're going against is very good. It's a very well-built team. It's hard to work around. So in comes Keldeo, which is a good switch. Keldeo is a very good switch here. And um, they get some stuff for a chip, which is unfortunate. Now, what do we do? Now, what do we do? I'm leaning towards the Fretress, but I don't want to go down. You know? I'm also leaning towards the Chestnut. I think I will go Chestnut. I think Chestnut's the way to go here. So what we'll do is we'll Leech Seed. Because they're probably going to flip turn, right? They might be Choice Specs, for all we know. Um, so I should go for a Spiky Shield and Scout. Let's see what they're going to do. We'll see if they're going to go for an Icy Wind. So we go for a Spiky Shield. Let's see what they lock themselves into. They might have gone for a Flip Turn for all I know. Um, they do go for a Secret Sword, which is obviously going to do no damage. Um, but we now know that they are locked into Secret Sword, potentially. So we can go for a Leech Seed here, which is exactly what I'm going to do. They withdraw the Keldeo, which is great. Um, because it means we get a Leech Seed off on something. They go into Zapdos, which didn't get a Roost off earlier. 
Um, so we're going to get a Stealth Rock ship, which is amazing. And then we go for a Leech Seed, which is going to recover some of our HP back, which is great. Absolutely great. So we get that Leech Seed damage real quick. There we go. On the Zapdos. And now it's a matter of do we... Do we, do we, do we go for a, anything else? Like, they probably go for a Roost, right? right? So let's... Should we go for a knockoff? Or have we already knocked off their item? Did we already knock off the Zapdos? I feel like we did. Let's go for a knockoff because they either take us out or they don't. They go for a Roost, which is great. So they're going for a Roost there. We're going to knock off whatever item they've got, unless we already knocked it off. Like I said, I can't remember. Um, I don't think we did, though. We get the Leech Seed Sap, which is great. Now, they probably go for another... Um, roost here. So I am leaning towards going for a Drain Punch. So I'm going to go for the Drain Punch real quick. They actually go for a Heat Wave, which is going to do not enough to KO us by one. They literally, oh, we got fully paralyzed. We lived on one, but we got fully paralyzed. So we're going to get some Leech Seed Chip back, which is great. Um, and now they probably go for the likes of the, um, the Roost again. So I'm going to go for a Drain Punch. They do go for the Roost. Hopefully we don't get fully paralyzed because if we can get the Roost off here, because when the turn that you use Roost, you lose your flying typing, but we couldn't move because we were fully paralyzed. Damn. That's really unfortunate. Really unfortunate for us. So we get some health back from the Leech Seed, which is great and all. Um, I need to get rid of the Sap though. So let's go for a Drain Punch once again. So Heat Wave comes through. That's going to take out Chestnut. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. So after Stealth Rocks, Typhlosion doesn't care too much about, you know, Eruption should still care with Zapdos from here. That's what I'm trying to say. So I think we go into the Typhlosion. I think Typhlosion is the way to go now because we're getting a bit closer to the end of the game right now. So we need to start making some plays. So I think Typhlosion coming in is great. Um, we just go for an Eruption here. There's no real reason not to. Um, eruption comes through. We do our speed. Okay, with the Zapdos. So the Zapdos is down and out, which is great. Um, now, if we get rid of the Meloetta, which we should be able to do, um, we'll be golden. We'll be golden. So in comes Haxorus. Haxorus is a very good one here. So Haxorus is great. We're going to go for... Um, they probably go for a Dragon Dance here, knowing we're locked into uh, Eruption. Because they want to finish off the game. So I'm going to go into Fretress. And I'm going to go ahead and Rapid Spin. I'm going to rapid spin on the fret on the um, Haxorus because we have the red card. So the minute they attack the Fretress, they're going to get red carded out. So we'll switch out our Typhlosion. And as long as they don't get red carded into the Skeledurge, which is a possibility, we should be all right. So Alcatraz comes in. Pointer Stones do dig in. Breaking our sturdy. They go for a Dragon Dance, which is fine. Absolutely fine by me. Um, but hopefully, they, I don't think they get any fire type moves. They don't get Temper Flare, do they? I don't know, but I'm going for I'm going for a rapid spin anyway. And um, there's really no reason not to at this point. May as well get rid of them, because then we're, at least we've got the focus sash on the crawdon, you know? So they go for another dragon dance, which is great, because it means that the minute they attack us, they're gonna lose them dragon dancers. So we can go for a rapid spin here, which is fantastic. Rapid spin comes through. There we go. And do we think they're gonna attack? Ah, see, see the timers the timers are ending, so it doesn't really matter about the stones being missed. So I'm gonna go for a body press here, because they probably go for another dragon dance or something. They go for an EQ, which isn't going to take us out, unfortunately, for them. It's going to do barely any damage. We get the red card, and hopefully we get the red card into the Caldeo or the Meloetta here, and not the Skeledurge. The Skeledurge would be very unfortunate, but the body press will hurt a lot of things. It is the Meloetta, which is part normal, so after the Stealth Rock chip, body press should do a decent bit of damage here. So I'm going to go for it. There we go. Ferretra's coming through. Nice bit of damage. We go for another body press, though. So they withdraw the Meloetta. They're probably going to go with the Skeledurge here. We should have gone for a Volt Switch, really. Skeledurge comes in, and that pretty much seals the deal. So that is going to be the game. So we needed more time. Probably another 10 minutes to finish that game, which is really unfortunate. So GG Lemon, that was a pretty fun one. Um, it was a very intense one. Um, I'll just go for a Volt Switch, just because why not? Um, time has run out. Battle's over. GG Lemon, that was a pretty fun one. I appreciate your time. Um, again, we needed like another 10 minutes for that to be completed, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to. Use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.